Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 Home Services Project. In this video, we are going to learn about Create Service Providers Profile. So let's see how can we create Service Providers Profile. First of all, let's create a model. So switch to the command prompt and for creating the model, just type here the command php artisan make colon model a space model name. Uh, let's say model name is service provider. All right, and also create the migration. So just write here dash m. Now press enter. Model created. Now switch to the project. And let's open the migration. So just go inside the database directory, then migration. And from here, let's open this one create service providers table migration. And inside this migration, let's add here column. So right here, dollar table arrow data type uh, big integer big integer and column name user underscore id and also add here the unsigned all right another column dollar table arrow data type a string and column name image and also add here the null label now let's copy this and paste here multiple time now change here the column uh, right here about and here ct then service underscore category underscore id and here service location service underscore locations and also change here inside this service category id data type big integer and also set here the unsigned okay and just remove this all right now after this timestamp let's uh, add here the foreign key so write here dollar table arrow foreign and uh, then add here the column name user underscore id and add here the reference so write here references references and column name id on table name users okay and also add here the on delete cascade Okay, now copy this line and paste and change here the column name. So let's copy this service category ID and here uh, references column column name ID and table name service categories. Okay. All right, now save this file. Now let's open the service provider model. So just go inside the app directory then models and from here let's open this one service provider.php and inside this model uh, first of all let's add here the fillable so right here protected dollar fillable is equal to and inside this array just pass here user underscore id okay and also create here a function for category so right here public function and function name category and inside this just return here dollar this arrow belongs to and pass here the model name service category colon colon class and pass here the column name which is service underscore category underscore id okay now save this file now let's migrate this migration so switch to the project uh, command prompt and here for migrating the migration just type here the command php artisan migrate okay now press enter all right migration done now switch to the project and uh, just close this migration and also close this model now just go inside the app directory then action 
45 and from here let's open this one create new user.php file and inside this file uh, just go inside the create method and after this let's add here uh, just delete this return and uh, just uh, create an object here dollar user is equal to user colon colon create okay and after this just return here return dollar user okay and uh, before this return let's add here uh, if condition if dollar uh, register and is equal to svb svp means service provider then uh, let's create a profile so simply add here the model name service provider okay column column and call here the create method so right here create and inside this just only pass here user id okay inside this area so right here user underscore id arrow uh, this object name user arrow and call here id okay and also add the semicolon now save this file okay now just close this now switch to the command prompt and uh, here let's create a new live wire component so just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire a space uh, directory name s provider slash uh, component name so right here s provider profile component okay now press enter component created now run the application so right here php artisan serve now switch to the project and let's create the route for this component so just go inside the routes directory and then open web.php file and inside the service provider uh, route group uh, inside this group let's create a new route so right here route colon colon get and add here the uri is provider arrow uh, slash profile and then component class name which is s provider profile component colon colon class and also give the route name so write here name s provider dot profile okay now save this file now let's open this uh, s provider profile component class file so just go inside the app directory then http livewire and then s provider and from here let's open this one s provider profile component.php file okay and here first of all let's add here the layout so write here layout and directory name layouts dot layout name which is base okay and now inside the render method uh, let's fetch here the service provider according to the current user id so right here dollar s provider s provider is equal to service provider colon colon where user id user underscore id is equal to auth and also import here the auth okay like this and then colon colon uh, user arrow id okay and call here the first first method now let's return this so inside this view just add here big bracket then s, uh, s provided s provider and then arrow dollar s provider okay now save this file now let's open the view files uh, 
as provider profile component view file so just go inside the resources directory uh, resources then views live web as providers and from here let's open this one as provider dash profile dash component dot blade dot php file okay now from here let's uh, uh, delete all the text and now let's open the uh, this one admin uh, admin add service category component okay and uh, from here let's select all the text and copy now go to uh, this file prof profile component view file and here just paste okay now uh, let's make some changes so first of all let's change here the title so just write here the profile profile now copy this and also change here okay and uh, just remove this link now in, uh, from body uh, let's remove this form and also this one so just select and remove okay all right now inside the panel uh, panel body uh, let's add here a row so right here dot row then column empty forward and here let's display here the profile image so first of all add here the if condition if directive and inside this just write here as provider arrow image then uh, let's add here the image tag img src is equal to add here the path so first of all uh, let's create a directory for service provider image okay so go to the project directory and just go inside the public folder then images and here let's create a new folder and let's say folder name is s providers okay s providers now let's open this now uh, go to the google and here uh, let's search profile dummy image okay and from here you can down, uh, download any dummy image okay I have, I have already downloaded this so let's copy this image and uh, I'm just going to paste inside this S provider directory okay this is the default image for the profile all right now go to the view file and here just add here the path so write here asset then this one images then s providers so write here images slash s providers slash uh, after this slash then curly bracket dollar s provider provider arrow image okay and also set here the width 100 percent okay and uh, if image not available then inside the else part let's copy this and uh, paste here and now just close here the if directive so right here in div okay if image uh, not exist then just display here the default image okay uh, this dummy image so just remove this and uh, inside this simply right here slash default dot zpg okay now after this let's add here another column so right dot col md 8 okay and inside this just to display here the service provider name so inside the h3 just write here name and display here the name so right here dollar s provider arrow name 
uh, is provided uh, just right here auth colon colon user then call here the name okay and now display here the about so right here inside the p tag simply add a double curly bracket then is provided arrow about now display here the email so inside the p tag just write here email also add here the p tag so b tag and after this double curly bracket then auth colon colon user arrow email okay now let's copy this and display here the phone so right here phone phone now display here the service category and service locations so right here b tag service category and uh, after this double curly bracket dollar s provider arrow uh, service s provider category category arrow name okay and now let's copy this and uh, dis display here the service locations just remove this and add here service underscore locations check here the column name so okay this one service service location and also display ct okay so uh, after this let's display here the ct so copy this and paste here and now change here the text ct here ct Okay, now save this file. Now go to the layout file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, layouts, and from here let's open this one base.play.php file. And inside this file, just go inside the service provider menu. And uh, here you can see this is the admin menu, and here is the service provider menu. Okay, so inside this, let's copy this, and after this, just paste here. Okay. Now change here the text profile and also change here the route name. So let's copy this route name and paste here. Okay, now save this file. Now everything is done. So let's check this. So switch to the browser and uh, just refresh the page okay now let's uh, register a user as a service provider so click on register now enter here the name so right here the name let's say name is Deepak Kumar and email Deepak at the rate test at the rate surf side media surf side media dot in okay and password confirm password now add here the phone number okay register as service provider now just click on register okay uh, service provider created registered 
Now inside the service provider menu, you can see here the profile link. Now just click on this link. And uh, here, attempt to read property name on null. Okay, so let's check this error. Here for uh, showing the category name, uh, before showing this category name, uh, let's add here a condition. So after this, just press enter. And uh, here, uh, let's add here the if condition. So right here, if dollar is provider arrow uh, service category id service underscore category underscore id uh, then just display this category name all right and after this just close here the if to active in div okay and also cut this b tag closing p tag and paste here okay now save this file now let's check again so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now you can see here the profile okay because uh, here you can see the dummy image because this time the profile of this service provider is not available okay in next video uh, we will see how can we update the service provider profile okay so uh, that's all about create service provider profile so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching